You know, we cannot overemphasize the fact that God loved the world. God loves you. God loves me. God loves every man, every woman. Red, black, yellow, or white. It doesn't matter. God loves everyone. God is the creator and the maker of human beings. No human being is ever made made by any devils. Devils cannot make human beings. Psalm 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The people and all they that dwell in it. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, the Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, your father, my father, I've put another word in my mouth this morning to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. My prayer is that God will empower you to know what to do. God will fill you with divine ability to do, to be a blessing. May may the love of God flow from you to other people. May God use you to be a solution to other people's problems. May you be the answer to the prayer of many people around you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want to talk about the need, meeting the need of others, meeting the needs of others. When you look at 1 John chapter 3, from verse 1, the Bible says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. God loves us so much that it's so, you know, it's so powerful we cannot even understand the love of God. Because when we look at the love of God for us, we will imagine and we will know that we don't deserve this love that God has for us. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? He said, it's not tribulation, it's not life, it's not death, it's not poverty, it's not riches, it's not the devil. He said, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God. The love is so deep, the love is so wide, the love is so high. You can't get above it, you can't get under it, you can't get around it. You are just immersed in that love. The love is called agape. It is not conditional. That love is not predicated on what you do. That love is not predicated on what I do. It's love unconditional. The love of God. And that love is what brought our Lord Jesus. And it says, Whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. When people receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they have become children of God and they have everlasting life. There is no other condition attached to entering heaven. The only condition, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved and your family. God's love is so generous and his requirement to receive that love is so easy. Receive Jesus. No more, no less. And when we understand that God loves everyone on earth, and we see <clears throat> billions of people are suffering. Scientists, the, 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 the researchers have said about one billion people are living below poverty level. They are living in abject poverty. Absolutely no food to eat. Human beings like you and me, having the same kind of feelings. You can feel hungry, they feel hungry, but there is no food for them. They are all around the world. We are living in a world, they say it's a world of scarcity. We are living in abundance and yet too much scarcity around us. People without food all over the world. You don't need to go to some countries before you see hungry people. They are there where you are. They are there in the United States of America. They are there in South Africa. They are there in Nigeria. They are there everywhere. You don't need to go far. Just beside you, around you, you're going to see people hungry 
no food. When you look at our world, our world is a place that is full of blessings. You see, the, the, somebody has said that United States of America alone have the capacity to produce food that will feed the whole world. United States of America alone can produce the food that every man on earth will eat and will be too much surplus. There is no scarcity on planet earth. Why are people suffering? God, after creating the world, he said, be fruitful and multiply. That is what he told the plants. He told the animals, be fruitful and multiply. There are abundance every day. Everything is increasing. One of God's law of creation is what we call the expanding power. God put an expanding power on earth. Everything is increasing and expanding. There is an ever-increasing grace on earth. There is an ever-increasing abundance on planet earth. Why are some hungry? And this is why I'm talking about meeting other people's needs. The reason why some are hungry is that there are few people on earth who want to have it all. They don't care what happened to you. They just want to have it all. They want to have all the billions. They don't want other people to have. You see, this is what is killing mankind. This is what is killing our race. Our, some people want to have it all and they don't want others to have. And so they have it all. They don't want other people to have. How does that concern you this morning? Let me tell you, this is how it concerns you. God wants you to rise up, to be a voice. God wants you to rise up, to be a tear wiper. God wants you to rise up and be the supply of somebody's need. We must begin to be our brother's keepers. We must begin to reach out to the poor. We must pray to God. Lord, I see people dying of hunger. Use me to be a provider. Use me to be an answer to their prayers. So many people are getting extinct because there is no one to care for them. You know that people are looking for leaders. So how does this concern you? There are three things God is putting in my heart. Number one, you need to begin to pray for those people who are suffering. You need to begin to pray for those people who don't have food. You need to begin to show your concern. You need to get aware of this, that I am eating food right now. What of those who don't have food? I am blessed right now. What of those who are not blessed? I can take my children to the best school. What of those who cannot even take their children even to the government school where they won't pay, but they will have to buy their uniform. They don't even have money. When you begin to think about them, when you begin to pray for them, God will begin to empower you. God will begin to give you vision on what to do to help them. Pick up an interest. You see, those who don't have interest in other people are those, they just go, they see somebody begging, they say, no, this one is lazy, I don't care about him. They just go about their way. You will have money, you'll be okay, but there are some blessings you'll be missing. You'll be missing the blessing of seeing somebody laugh, somebody who was weeping. You will miss the miracle of seeing a weeping child laughing. You will miss the miracle of having the need of somebody met. You will miss the miracle of giving. 
There is power in giving. The Bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive. So what do you do? Number one, pick up interest. Begin to pray for them. Number two, then when you begin to pray for them, God will begin to show you vision, what you can do, how to increase and multiply your income. Then your money will begin to flow. Because as you think about them, as you give the little that you have, God will begin to multiply the rest in your pocket and God will begin to make you a blessed person and you begin to reach out for more people and as you reach out for more people you continue to do better and as you help other people you will see yourself being helped you will see your problems vamoose God will take care of your problem why because you have taken care of the problem of other people in conclusion I want to tell you Because of these things that is happening, never shun a poor man, never look down on somebody who is not well to do, never talk about them, never look them down, never talk them down, never turn them down. Don't turn them back. Whatever you can do, do. Don't ridicule poor people. Don't talk them down. You are where you are by the grace of God. You are not smarter. You are not better. You are not more intelligent than some of them. I spoke with somebody. The way that person was speaking, I knew this one is very intelligent. What is happening in his life is unfortunate. There are more intelligent people than you who are suffering and hungry and dying of sickness and disease. Talk kindly to them. It's very important. And lastly, please reach out. Reach out. Starting now, reach out to help somebody. Reach out. Somebody needs your help. Somebody needs your smile. Somebody needs your encouragement. Somebody needs just 10 rand from you. Somebody needs just 10 rand from you. Why don't you give it? That 10 rand cannot unmake you. It can bring you down. Give what you can give so that somebody can smile. And that is what we are doing even in our ministries. We are reaching out to bless, to help. What are you willing and ready to do? This is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Partners, thank you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God continue to replenish your pocket in Jesus' name. Amen. Please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones. And if you see that you have somebody who you know have, is blessed one way or the other, send this to them so that they can you know, understand the reason why they need to give to those who don't have. Thank you and God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Consider sponsoring and being our partner. We are able to continue this broadcast as a result of the contribution of partners. If you decide to be a partner, or you are receiving this for the first time, just WhatsApp this number. This number is plus 27740302381. If you want me to send this directly to you, you are receiving it for the first time, just send me this message, add me. If you want to be a partner, just say partner. Whatever you give to this ministry, God will bless you for it. Thank you again. It is well with your soul. This is your brother, your friend, and your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out today and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.